Yes, hello there everyone. Welcome back to our channel guys. As you can see, I am in my garden. My tiny garden at home. See all my strawberries in the pots. Actually guys, I had few harvest this afternoon. And later I will continue harvesting guys. Because right now I'm looking at my strawberries. Especially those strawberries down there. They have grown a lot of runners already guys. So I'm thinking of showing you how I propagate strawberries through their runners so I know some of the farmers already know some of the, of the methods used in planting strawberries or in propagating strawberries but I want to show you guys how I do it myself I am not an expert into farming or into strawberries but what I will be showing you this afternoon are just my you know simple knowledge and how or based on my experience guys as a home gardener as I have checked my strawberries guys loads of runners are coming out already especially now that the weather is very good it's so warm and then those runners are coming out as well i want to cut them guys but i don't want to waste them i want to use them for my next batch of strawberries that's for the next year so i will be propagating them so i could have new batch of strawberries for the next summer i'll show you guys how i do it on how i propagate strawberries through the runners i am just putting all my strawberries in pots because I don't have enough space and for me, I find it really nice you can just have spots and then put them anywhere you like or you can hang them on the wall so I have here strawberries guys though they are on the ground but I'm putting them in a pot I don't plant them directly on the ground guys there is a ripe fruit already ripe strawberries and as you can see there are runners coming up look some runners runners and runners over there yeah and on that side as well there are runners and look at those hanging there are runners this is actually my hybrid strawberry I have one of those pink flowers they look really pretty and we've got here another runner coming up and we've got runners there as well so for those of you guys who are asking how strawberry runners look like so show it this is one of the runners of my strawberries so it looks like this everyone so as you can see leaves are starting to come out and there's more here growing so this one also will develop into another runner this one and also this part here yeah runners are actually like a daughter plant from it's actually a part or a daughter plant guys of the main strawberry plants here it's like a an extension <sighs> yeah it's called the daughter plant so this is how runners look like and sooner in a few days roots will start to appear in this part here actually everyone there are different ways on how to propagate strawberries and the first one is using their seeds some farmers don't use that one because it will take longer or maybe years for you to have some harvest or to have a fruit on it the easiest way is by using their runners so, and that's what we're going to do right now because when you're using the runners you can just you know bear fruits in just a few weeks and then you can have a harvest you've got here a strawberry runner down here look at this it has roots already actually it already touched the soil guys but i wanted to put them in the pot so what I did with this runner, I don't cut them right away. I prepare a, a pot of soil, it's like this, and then just put the runner here, that way. Okay, like that. And then I will wait for a few days, guys, when it gets stable, when the roots get stable, that's the time that I will snip off the, the umbilical. This works on me because the moment I cut the umbilical, I am pretty sure that the strawberries is already growing actively. A few days ago, I put this one. I cannot pull them out, and guys, so meaning to say the roots already are stable, so I can cut the umbilical now. And we've got here another one. So these two runners here, guys. I put this one like around four days ago and I cannot pull them anymore so meaning to say they're already stable so I can cut their umbilical 
because they are ready to grow by themselves and this one too and the main plant can now focus on growing fruits they are already stable that's how I propagate my strawberries or there's other way guys you can try if you don't want this method you can actually just cut directly the runners just like this one okay this one guys look at this before cutting the umbilical see to it that the roots are bigger enough for it to grow to make sure that when you cut the umbilical and you're planting them in the soil they can grow by themselves already if you don't like the first way that i'm showing you can use this one cut and then just have a little hole in the pot and then that way see and just water them guys regularly and they can grow just like this one so this is now the strawberry guys the strawberry runner that we just cut from the umbilical they're growing really healthy now before i cut the runners i make sure they're already actively growing and they can already grow on their own but you could always also use the second method that i showed you for me i'm i'm just planting all my strawberries in pots you can also use this method if you are growing strawberries on directly on the ground this is a runner and look at them growing actively on the ground i let it just stay there on the ground so you can also use this method guys just let it grow on the ground and when you try i'll show you this part guys i've got here some runners look this one also is a runner so this is the method that i usually use to use guys i put the runner in a pot of soil before cutting the umbilical or i cannot pull them out already guys because i put them three like around four days ago yes everyone four days just for four days guys they already be stable guys and you can put you can cut the umbilical this one also look i cannot pull them I cannot pull them they're ready to grow on its own and i got more runners there in the pot and this runner guys look at this i haven't put this one yet and it has shown it is it has flowers already coming out guys so i need to put these on the pot and we've got more runners over here i don't want to waste them so i want to use this one for my batch of strawberry for next year this one is ready to be cut so we will cut them so these runners are you know can they can already grow on its own <laughs> look at this wow See, I've got a new set of strawberry. So they're runners. Then on there. And I've got more over here. And this strawberry runner needs to be put in here that way so they can grow too. And we will wait for a few days for it to be stabled. And we've got more here. Look, there's another one. It's very simple to propagate a strawberry. And strawberry is very rewarding to grow. Actually, because it can have harvest. And there's another one here. So that's it, everyone. That's how I propagate my strawberries in the pots. So yeah, but you can always choose your own method guys you can always use your the method you're comfortable with and it depends on how much strawberries you're growing whether you're growing a big farm so yeah you can always use the method you are comfortable using and that applies to you that's suited on your gardening style i've seen some ripe ripe strawberries guys i will continue harvesting them i've got i still have few you know ripe strawberries so we will harvest them, guys actually i started already everyone I've got few harvest now. All my strawberries are just in the pots, guys. Because I don't have enough space. Uh, and I really enjoyed growing them, guys. Especially when I see my son, you know, getting excited whenever he see he see a, a, a ripe strawberries. And I've got here tiny ones. We'll take them out, guys, before the bugs will do. 
that's not ready yet. And I see some here. I mean, few, few ripe strawberries. one here so though they are just in the pots guys but you know that you can see some you can still have harvest everyone and I think there's a tiny one in here hanging <laughs> and look at this bunch and there's i'm waiting for that guys i'm excited with the fruit it's really big and another bunch in here there's still they still keep you know producing fruit and there's a big one over here wow all right this is it guys so yeah look at our harvest <laughs> our harvest everyone and hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it from a small gardener like me thank you so much all for watching see you on my next video bye everyone please consider subscribing by tapping or clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of our next upload and don't hesitate to follow us on facebook twitter and Instagram account for more exciting updates.